Hello and welcome back to Planet Zoo! Today's episode we are back in Panopea Marine Reserve, so for those who are usually following my Andrew Zoo recreation, this is my other smaller project which I don't like work in too often, but I thought the upcoming uh, Europe pack was the ideal opportunity to uh, work on this uh, little island again. So I am building a habitat for the fallow deer, as you could tell by the video title. Uh, this habitat is like located on a little walking trail that leads from the uh, sea turtle nesting beach that we built in the last episode. And it leads to the um, little village, the arrival point for uh, visitors. So fallow deer are actually... Um, considered native to Greece. They aren't considered native to a lot of places in Europe because they um, I think they originated in Turkey and um, made their way over to Europe along with humans in like the Neolithic period or uh, might be before that as well. But uh, wild fallow deer went extinct in mainland Greece in the 1930s because people like to hunt them um, for food and stuff. So in mainland Greece they are only kept in captivity by uh, farmers and stuff like that uh, because fallow deer um, are kept because of their meat mostly I think. Um, for example people like to eat deer meat especially uh, during like the holidays. Uh, I know my mom has planned to make like a deer stew, uh, a deer and boar stew for Christmas. Um, so that is why they are kept in uh, captivity. Um, so there are no wild fallow deer in mainland Greece. Why do I keep repeating mainland Greece? Well, that is because there is a small herd of less than 50 wild individuals still uh, living on the island of Rhodes. Rhodes is located close to Turkey. You might know the island uh, because of uh, the giant um, Colossus statue that used to be there and is considered one of the eight uh, or was it seven ancient wonders or uh, wonders of the ancient world. But yeah, there are there is like a small wild population of fallow deer uh, on that island. So I thought that was uh, like a cool little fact that they are like one of the only wild populations that is in Europe uh, and actually native to Europe uh, because most other wild populations are introduced. Um, and Greece actually is considering these uh, or this population as vulnerable and is trying to protect them because they um, they are quite a unique species to be. Uh, on an island like this in the Aegean Sea, but this was the perfect uh, thing I thought. I thought like we are having a Euro pack, um, which I'm very excited about. By the way, let's introduce some of the species that will be in that pack on this island. So I'm starting with the fallow deer, of course. I'm giving them this nice little clearing in what will be a forest. Um, it, it will be a bit more clear in the live part of the episode, but um, I thought it would be nice. Like you have the visitors walking along this hiking trail, and they come upon this clearing, and there is a small herd of fallow deer over there. So I'm planning to have this as a walkthrough, obviously, but without any of the barriers. I just have my animals on no escape. And I thought it would be nice to have like a little trail there, like a nature trail, uh, not not particularly uh, for visitors, but just for the fallow deer and stuff. Like usually see that where a lot of animals go through to get to water. Um, they'll like follow uh, nature trails and stuff like that. So I had one over there. And um, I was thinking, where should I put this water source? Like I initially had it on a, that little bend there at the end of the habitat but um, eventually I decided to like move it over as you'll see later on in the video. By the way this drink grass uh, that came in the Africa pack is my new favorite thing to use. Um, I use it like everywhere here. Um, I recorded this before the Europe pack came out so I'm not really like I don't know which 
plants will be in there yet so we might introduce some of those plants later on but most of the African plants like do well in a Mediterranean like setting uh, like this here but yeah I'm excited for the Euro pack but by the time this video comes out it will obviously already have dropped um, like I, I, I don't know yet which scenery will be in it but um, I'll probably tell you in the live part like which ones I probably may use in this zoo or um, island I should say um, I already know that I'm gonna use the like the ferry boat as an arrival point because I had a dock originally but now I can add a boat <laughs> so it's like Frontier was watching this uh, my first video and I was like oh we could give him a boat <laughs> as an arrival point which is nice but yeah um, so here's a little like water feature I was doing for the habitat uh, just to give like the uh, fallow deer a, a spot where they could uh, go and drink without having to have like a pump or anything or something that looks human made. Uh, I want to keep this as natural um, or as close to a natural environment as possible. So you can see there the little trail coming from up the hill uh, going down to this water stream. So yeah, it's like coming out of the rock as if it's coming from a like a subterranean cave system or something I don't know yet I may I may do a cave system on this map like could be quite interesting but yeah uh, sorry I was like at this point in the speed build I was looking some stuff up that had nothing to do with uh, the build or anything but yeah so I'm putting all this like rocks and faux rocks to give this like a this, it's a classic look of a stream that goes across some rubbles or um, I mean like pebbles and like small rocks and stuff and as the stream goes on smaller and smaller pebbles and stuff like that you know what I mean <laughs> you've been to nature I hope you have been to nature but yeah just putting more foliage in here it's it's mostly some of the same stuff and I was thinking we have water we also need like something the fellow deer can eat and that is why I put some like what was it holly trees or something like they have the little red uh, red flowers or are there berries I don't know for sure but like I can easily see the fellow deer like foraging for um, uh, berries or stuff eating the grass that I have in the clearing and uh, yeah so then uh, similarly as oh, sil Similarly, as to how the water comes out of a rock, I wanted to have it go back into a rock, like go back into a subterranean system or something, because uh, I didn't want to have make a creek that goes all the way to the ocean. Uh, so a bit lazy on my part, but I don't think it looks bad or anything. It's, it looks quite nice and has a quite good feeling to it. Um, I'm excited to see if the deer will actually use it. <laughs> To drink from it and stuff but yeah I'll see when the <laughs> when the pack comes out which for you guys will already have happened uh, what other things I could add in here and stuff like that so yeah but, uh, continuing the nature trail over there because I want to have other animals in here eventually but with that being said let's go to the live part and we're live in the game we're next to our nice little habitat um, over here had to put of course an entrance to it so I kind of hid it in this piece of tree but look at this our deer our fellow deer are here in the nice little clearing so of course I'm now in the actual update and I am able to look at these wonderful animals doesn't seem like they move too much <laughs> like they have moved since I put them in here actually had to put them um, like move them to get them in more accessible viewing areas I did put some herb scent markers around the habitat here and there to maybe get them moving yeah it doesn't seem like they want to move that much so yeah right now they are just beautifully standing there in the clearing clearing sorry we have a nice little group of uh, three females and one male 
absolutely love the uh, fur and the like the color variations these guys have also it looks like in sandbox we do have uh, like albinos popping up more often in the um, animal market now because um, I already had like two albinos for these animals um, oh it's making a noise yeah let me speed up and see if they actually do something because it doesn't look like they are like what's wrong um, something wrong with their pathfinding maybe yeah because they should be able to to move in this habitat like if I if I click on one of them um, yeah it should yeah they should be able to move like all around this habitat I don't know might be something wrong with the, the pathfinding so let's just move one over here so it looks like these guys I'm just gonna move you because I think Kai's mod might cause issues with pathfinding yeah this one is moving now so maybe the issue was like people getting into the habitat yeah this one is moving now so maybe they need a little a little help to get them st uh, started <laughs> let's move our male deer over here yeah look at this imagine if you are like you're like me you're walk you're walking down this trail you spot a nice little deer you walk around here oh god these guys are back but yeah and then there's just more deer everywhere crossing the path going into like going to this creek over here I think, yeah it's going to the scent marker I put down here yeah so that's a neat little trick uh, to get them to places where you want to take pictures and stuff yeah this is definitely an issue with Kai's mod I think uh, pathfinding and stuff not optimized but this this looks just amazing like this wall of green with the rocks in between and everything yeah this is everything uh, and more I wanted from this habitat let's see where are the other ones now so yeah they are over here oh this this looks nice I'm gonna I'm gonna take a screenshot yeah this is a nice screenshot um, maybe even this yeah this is this is all very nice uh, the fallow deer are my favorite animals so far from the Europe pack um, they just look so so nice and with all the color variations that we're gonna get or that we get from these guys uh, these are just absolutely amazing now in terms of uh, my other projects uh, Andrew Zoo I've already gone in and done a bit of rework on all builds with all the new props we got because this Europe pack adds a lot a lot of new props and um, it's just amazing what Frontier did with this update and I just can't wait to like show you guys what I did in Antwerp Zoo and um, okay that one is moving in finally they are finally moving again looks like he yeah he might take a little sip of water yeah oh look at this wouldn't it be amazing if you were walking in a forest and suddenly like you came across this beautiful deer drinking from a creek like, oh, beautiful beautiful I really like this habitat uh, that I need but there definitely seems to be something with the running or the walking not really happening that much. Yeah. That noise was a bit weird. I've never heard a deer make any noise. So it might just be the normal noise, I guess. Yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. I'm gonna love it if this is this forest is like completely finished. And I'm gonna be able to figure. Oh, that was a bit of lag. 
Like, look at this. Uh, I can just look at them all day. But yeah, anyway, uh, admiring the animals. Um, besides that, there's not much I can do anymore in here. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one. If you want to stay updated with, uh, my, uh, with all my projects and all my videos and stuff, uh, feel free to subscribe. Um, I know a lot of you guys who watch my videos are probably new and aren't subscribed yet, but it would mean the world to me uh, to see like more people join in and stuff like that, because uh, that that's like your work being appreciated and stuff, and that's the best feeling uh, you can have in the world, in my opinion. But this will be it for this episode. See you next time. Bye.